All right, so we're here in the downtown. This is a very beautiful and charming town. I already see a beautiful mural. There's a really cool theater we're gonna check out. But the first place we're gonna look at is the City Hall, which was the first building built here. It's a really cool structure, so let's go check it out. I really love that the founding idea of this city was to be uncorrupted by demon rum. I find that very interesting. Now here we are at City Hall. Just look at the towers. It's a four corner tower like this. It's a beautiful building. Walk around here, get a closer look. It's also got a museum with it, which is not open right now. But let's take a look. Check out that brickwork up top. It's beautiful. Just like the use of limestone in the architecture. It is amazing. Across the street, we got some really cool buildings. It looks like they're renovating the upstairs, but if you look on down here, it's boarded up and plants growing out of it. That'll be a cool explore someday. So I'm gonna walk up here. Take a peek inside here at the foyer. It looks looks like it's actually kind of under construction. You can see they're redoing the ceilings and stuff here, but look at the staircase. That's really cool. Look at the architecture on back. That's really beautiful. Let's see if we can get a better look. Look at the woodwork. Well, that's really cool. It's a really cool mural on the side of that building there, but check out that that empty spot there. It looks like it might have been a maybe a stained glass window or some kind of mural in that. Maybe they're gonna put a mural in it. And maybe they're gonna put a mural in it. If anybody knows anything about that, let me know down below. That's very interesting. Look at this old Mayfield ice cream sign. Now, a lot of you, if you're not from the South, you probably don't know. Mayfield is a really popular Local. brand made here in Tennessee, but that's a really cool old uh, advertisement for them. And look There's at, something else too behind that, but I can't quite yeah. see it out. It looks like B.W. Martin? Yeah, B.W. Martin. Uh, and then that covers and it and you can't tell. It's 
some old windows used to be there. Yeah, check out where the windows used to be. That's awesome. I love old school murals. Oh, let's continue on. Check out the Princess Theater. That is just, it, I don't have words, it speaks for itself. It's, it's beautiful. It's so good. <laughs> I love it. What? This is a really cool antique store. I mean, just look at the. It's so pretty. Yeah. It's a bicycle. And then like you got the green drain spout and all the colors used in it. It's just absolutely amazing. Here's the sign for it. Uh, guys, if you're ever in Harriman, you should probably come check this place out. Look I at think that. we're going to check it out. I don't know if they'll allow us to film inside, but we're going to at least go in and check it out. trains and stuff in here oh that's some really 1940s. doll furniture look at some of the pins back there oh the old mad tvs oh look at that that motel sign is awesome oh pbr Globe. I always was fascinated with these pictures like this. So neat. So they got all kinds of awesome antiquities. Look at this lamp. That is so awesome. What is it? Oh. Projector, correct? Yeah. I think it's a slide projector. I got a little bit of everything here, guys. Holly, I love that map. Okay. That map is so cool. Look at the ceilings in here. Yeah, look at it. You don't see that anymore. I mean, these buildings were built in 1890. Oh, it got blurry. Hey guys, you see anything you want, come here and get it. It's nice enough to let us film in here. Check out all this. Oh, that column's really neat. Thing is, everything in here has a story. Look at that lamp. That is neat. Wow. Oh, door. This lamp is so cool. Let me get a better shot of it. The whole, the table and all. It's, it's used the cord at the bottom. And it's got all of this under glass. That is the coolest thing. I've never seen anything quite like that. Some little relief details. Cool. are also not too bad here either. Eighteen fifty on that, or twenty-five. These old mail stones. Check all that out. This thing right here. That is so neat. Okay, that guy was super nice to let us film in there. I'm gonna put a link. He actually sells online, so yeah. if you see anything in there you like, um, or just go to the website and look, there's all kinds of cool stuff on there for sale. He'll ship it to you. Yeah, go support these local people, man, it's really. Support local business. Check this building out. If you zoom in to the top, you got this awesome stained glass window and it says Smith. There's a bunch of birds going in the hole. Oh yeah, check this out. <laughs> the top of that building's really pretty. The birds disappeared as soon as I went yeah. up there. But they're there. They're in, going in right there. Oh yeah, you can see them in the middle part. Yeah. There's a mesh screen. Wow. The whole top is birds. Oh yeah. 
Oh, time to cross. Check out this awesome little candy shop. It's not open, or we go in. Yes, we would. Look at it. Look at the little roof they built here. That is just so Can cute. See it at all? Probably not. Well, no, it's pretty dark. Oh, you can. It's really cool and old. Oh, yeah. It's definitely like an old fashioned candy shop. <laughs> all right, we had to get a closer look at this theater. Look at the marquee. Look underneath here. How amazing this is. And then just. What do you call this style, Heather? Uh, I don't know, but it's amazing. It, uh, to me, it looks 50s. Very 50s. But it could be a lot older than that, too. I just think this style. theater's like built for like 1890s, but it's been updated in the 50s. But the current style that it has going looks very 50s to me. I don't know if you can see inside. Oh, you can see a little bit. There's a little foyer area. So I haven't been able to find anything yet. As to how old it is. As to how old it is, but the more me and Heather look, it kind of looks more like a 20s theme. The lettering, Especially the lettering on it, yeah. So it's amazing either way. Here's a place I visited a long time ago. Look at that 50s roof. But it's falling into more disrepair. The old Midtown Drive-In. If you want to see the video, I tagged it down below. It's sad. This place is for sale. So if anyone wants to invest in a drive-in theater property, it'd be a good one. I absolutely just love the old sign. It's sad to see this place fall into disrepair like that. I wonder if it still works. There's a lot of light bulbs still in it. It looks, I mean, everything looks very salvageable here. But if anybody wants to invest, there's a phone number. Okay, that's a really charming and really pretty downtown. I think it's time to go find something to eat though. It's lunchtime yeah. and I'm starting to get hungry. Consensus leads us to Courtney's Diner. A lot of good reviews. They say the burgers are great. So we're gonna try it out. And what better place to come and dine than this old park that was built in 1890. Ooh, a squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Look how pretty the little picnic area oh, is. Wow. Cool. And shaded with these really cool old trees. They're huge. <laughs> it just keeps going. And they have one of these, but it's closed. It looks kind of old. It's a little janky, don't it? But man, I love those things. They do not make them. <laughs> I wonder why. Don't make them anymore. And a really cute gazebo. Yeah, gazebo. Yeah. Their landscaping's good, too. Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful park. We'll probably sit for lunch. Do you want to sit over here? Yeah, let's sit over here. There's no seat. There's no I tables sit there. there. But I don't have anything under the gazebo. All right. Yeah, let's go over here and sit at one of these beautiful tables. Okay. Okay, this looks like a super delicious burger. Of course, I got some fries. Heather got some fried green tomatoes. And jalapeno ranch. Jalapeno ranch. Mmm. It's going to be so good. Mm -hmm. Such a setting, too. Look at. Look, can you see this house over here? Look at so this exciting. house. Wow. <laughs> Let's eat. Okay, guys. I think this is taken over as the best burger I've ever taken a bite of. It is. <laughs> I had a bite of it. It's it's the best one I've had. I, I think this 
This beats out Muscle Burger in Louisville for the best burger I've it's ever had. Excellent. It's so good. You dodged a bullet. You almost got the lasagna. I did. I almost got lasagna, and I'm like, no, I got to get the burger because it's a diner. And everybody's talking about the burger. So. They did it right. They do it They're so right, guys. <laughs> Highly recommend. Okay, I can't uh, stress enough how good that burger really was. And Heather dropped the tomato. But no, this, this is literally like, I've thought about it, I've processed it. It is the best burger I've ever had in my life. It is so good. The tomatoes are good too, but not like the burger. Yeah, I mean the fried green tomatoes are like really good fried green tomatoes, don't get me wrong. But that burger is like one of the best things I've ever put in my mouth. So <laughs> I highly recommend that place. And you've had a lot of burgers. Yes. I consider myself quite the burger connoisseur. Squirrel. <laughs> there Where's that? There it is. I bet they like these trees. Yes, it's a squirrel. Look how cute it is. Looks like Nancy. <laughs> Do -do. Squeaking, 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 squeaking. <laughs> I see why it's not. <laughs> Oh no. I think it's bearing one out. <laughs> <laughs> no. I hope kids weren't on it. <laughs> <laughs>